Yasha Allah. I'm gonna start by giving all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth belong to our power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem Kakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and wool will well to the Yaqua Kudash salutation to the Aki and the how is empowered doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the hopeful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step in the way of washes in the name of Yahweh Wa Yahusha Mashiach Shalom Shalom So this lesson is about Babylon aka Egypt the well man is full steam ahead as you can see the Lord, Yahweh, powered by Hashem Yahushai, have sent plague upon Egypt, upon Babylon. And Egypt is being plagued in, in every corner, in every ways, to the storms that the Lord have sent, to the to natural disasters, and to artificial disasters, and men made disaster themselves. Right? And at the end of the day, like I said, Babylon aka Egypt development is full steam ahead right let's look at the word development right development definition right the action of a train or trolley car leaving its track accidentally see the Lord is making Babylon aka Egypt leaving the tracks that it was in the path and the Lord is making them air and leaving the tracks that they were in and investigate investigation into the development of a freight train the obstruction of a process by diverting it from its intended course Egypt was an intended course and the Lord is diverting that course away from them right because and then they did those people think the house a uh, should be forever see and that's the with the wicked thing and but the lord is putting an end a uh, to ak to, to babylon aka egypt but they will them uh, from the cost but uh, from, from the intended cause the development of the peace process right if he so thought he was gonna have peace but a uh, semi power there's no peace to the wicked right and, and that's the time that we are in Yashallah, the Lord is not giving the wicked any peace in, in the last days. That's exactly the time that we are in. Let's bring, let's bring the couple or let's bring the video in, right? This is from Dabu 7. In other North Folk Southern Train, the Wells in Alabama, CO testify. Special investigation, right? Explain. We have yet another train derailment involving Norfolk Southern. And this comes right as the CEO is testifying here today in Congress about all these issues that have been ongoing. Now, one can argue that the overall infrastructure in this country has gone to crap and that the tracks not being laid out and laid down the correct way are part of the problem they in turn will say though that norfolk southern is responsible for making sure that those tracks are in good working order as we seen in the last incident just yesterday in west virginia they had stated that norfolk southern owns from the center of the track out 12 feet on each side in most of these situations therefore anything within those bounds they are responsible for they have to clean up and all that we now have an investigation being launched into this company. We have the Fed saying that they have sent teams out to high profile events many times since just 2021 and they want to know what's going on. And of course, they bring up the situation in East Palestine here where we still do not have the testing that was needed on the people. Everything has been late pretty much here, and they've dropped the ball big time. But in terms of this new derailment here in Alabama, 
They're saying that there was no hazardous material that was leaked out or anything like that. No one injured, which is good. 30 cars derailing this morning, and they're still working to get that whole thing straightened up. So their top guy, the CEO, getting grilled by Congress over all these events and investigation being launched into it here as we have another derailment. Follow me on Twitter as I'm... As you can see, another derailment uh, from uh, from the same train company, right? Yeah, this is like the same America is going down every day. There's a different news, right? There's been another, another uh, thing going on here. Second off, a uh, sudden train uh, derails in Ohio, no assistance, not the release officials, right? Same thing, there was a, uh, there was a, another train in Ohio, uh, in East Palestine, that got access material in the, uh, down the river of, uh, of East Palestine, right? And those things, a uh, uh, train derails in Ohio, keep continuing. Even today, there's one another one again today. And that's the problem that's going on here, right? That's what's going on here. And the Lord he keep making Egypt to air at the end of the day, right? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14, chapter 19, verse 14. The Lord have mango a perfect spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to air and every work thereof as a chunky man staggered in his own vomit. With all those not a plague and disasters going on in Babylon, the Lord, Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai, is making Egypt to air. It's not Egypt that's doing it itself, but the Lord is making it to the air. See? The Lord is making them question everything. The inf infrastructure, uh, the way of living, the way of eating, everything that the Lord is making them questions. Right? Everything that makes this, uh, this thing work, this country work, the Lord is making them question everything. Right? Because uh, it's the Lord's uh, movie at the end of the day. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt with all those going on, with all those uh, developments going on, with all those disasters going on. They don't, they don't, they're gonna, not going to be any work for Egypt because they're not going to struck and they're not going to trust in the inf infrastructure of Egypt anymore. Right? The bridges, uh, the waterways, uh, what else? Uh, a uh, you call that uh, those train tracks all those things are broken down because Babylon is falling right and that day shall Egypt be like unto women it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts which he shake over it the Lord is shaking his hand over the land of Egypt against the event uh, with the, uh, against uh, the land of the Babylonians and the Chaldeans the Lord is making them afraid, like a woman out here. And they're gonna they feel right now, they're asking themselves, what's going on with our country? What's going on with Babylon? What's going on with America? Guess what? America is finished at the end of the day, right? And that's the word of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. You cannot take it back. Right? And let's go to A9, A, Isaiah 19 and 3. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. I will destroy the council and they shall seek to the idols. You see the Lord eh, making Egypt fail in every way. In the midst thereof, I will destroy the council thereof. The Lord is destroying every council that they come with. Every safety measure they're trying to put out. The Lord is putting those council down. And they shall seek to the idols. Hey, they, they, they're going to go pray to the idols, the astrologers, they, uh, uh, they, and rely on the astrologers, right? The, the sorceries, they were hanging on work. And to the charmers, and to them that are familiar spirit, and to the wizards. That's why they're going to do witchcraft out there, right? To help them with what's going on, but it's not going to help. But you have to remember, those Egyptians are men and not God. They are flesh and bones. And the Lord is doing his work according to the according to the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. That's what's going on in the Babylon, aka Egypt, the is full steam ahead. 
because it's, it's the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai to do so, right? And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is doing his tremendous work and making Egypt air in every way. And if you if you're a man of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, you should rejoice in that because the Lord is taking down the enemy, the main enemy of Yahshua, right? And let's go to. Um, Second issue step fifteen. Let's go to second issue step fifteen. So second issue step fifteen. Second Ezra 15 verse 12 Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it this is the punishment of the Lord this is the plague that the Lord has sent upon Egypt that for Egypt to err in every way and Egypt is not going to stop erring out here more disaster is going to come the Lord going to bring more dis disaster upon Egypt and that's the way the Lord wanted and the Lord want them to mourn and to look what Egyptian anguish out here. They that still the ground shall mourn. That's exactly what's going on. When the when, when and the Azeris material got, got laid into the river and in Palestine, the people are mourning, okay? Especially those that till the land. Because they, they uh the grains, the seed that they have is being contaminated and they're not gonna be able to grow those seed out the ground that they, that they till uh, uh, especially in the summer time they, they're gonna have to make new plans and those plans are, 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 are ruined by 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 the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by the perfect spirit that Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai have put in Babylon and Egypt right and the seed shall fail to the blasting in hell and with the faithful constellation the faithful constellation when it's all those things going on right? And any any say in your mind, this this not uh this not can have that's this cannot be a coincidence. Because there's no coincidence in this truth, there's no coincidence in prophecy, okay? For it is meant to happen. Because the purpose of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is not gonna back that can by void unto Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. Woe to the wall and them that dwell therein. You see, you see destruction is coming. For those that dwell in the wall, and who's who's ruling over this wall, he saw them. So that's why destruction is coming for them. There's a disaster, plague is coming for them, and every inch of the way, and every four corners of the earth. For the sword and the destruction do our night, and one people shall stand to fight against another, and the sword in the hand. That's what the Lord gonna bring. With the Lord making all the disasters to happen, and all the errors. The Egyptians gonna 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 go against the Egyptians. Democrats against Republican, white so-called white people against so-called black people. All these people are gonna fight. Asians, they're all gonna fight. Why? Right? Against one another. Hey, and and then sword in their hands, guns, a, a little swords, uh, uh, nuclear fire, all those things gonna gonna happen. Russia against America. All those things will come to pass, and that's why Babylon is uh, is 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 in trouble, and because disaster, what disaster, the anguish taking hold of him, right? Okay. Let's go to Isaiah twenty-four. Isaiah twenty-four, verse four. The earth mourning and faded away. The world languages. Whose world languages right now? The world of Esau Edom languages and faded away. The early people of the earth do language. See, the early people, who's the early people, who's the pride people of this earth. Esau Edom, the wicked of this earth. Let's see language, right? Let's go see what, what happened. The 
to be weak, to droop, to languish, to be exhausted. Past particle of the heart to be weak, to droop, to be or go feeble, to languish, right? They go, they, 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 the Egyptians are going feeble out here. Like with all those disasters that's going around here and all those billions that lose, they're losing every day, they became weak, they became feeble, and disaster is on their door all the day long, right? You see, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting, therefore have the curse devoured the earth. You see, the curse of Yahweh Hashem and Shai have been devoured the earth right now, therefore. Uh, who, who's, the, who's the people of the curse of the Lord? Uh, Esau, Adam, and that's those curse, those people that curse, have devoured the earth, and they, they are doing that end at the cell. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. This is what's coming. It's coming destruction that's coming for all those things those people have done upon this earth. There's no if but both about it, right? Let's go to uh, Psalm and close with that, right? So many nine verse twenty three. Psalm eighty nine verse twenty three. I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. See, the Lord is beating down a, a Babylon, aka Egypt, aka America, before his face and plague them that hate him. To in America, Esau, Edom hit the Most High because they don't have the fear of the Most High. They cast uh, uh, the word of Yahweh by Hashem shall be on their back, and that's why the Lord is beating down his foes. He's beating down little by little, the Lord is beating them down and plague them that hate them. The Lord is plaguing them with disaster all the day long, and that's exactly the time that we are in, Yashallah. A Babylon have been living deliciously, deliciously and now. And language, the language, the anguish take hold of them, right? Let's go to Isaiah 49. Isaiah, Jeremiah 49, verse 7, concerning Edom, thus said Yahweh, power of hosts, is wisdom no more intimate, is counsel perish from the prudent, is their wisdom vanish, hey, their wisdom vanish, is the is counsel is perish out here, they don't know exactly what to do, all those stuff is going on, and they don't know exactly what to do, flee, hey, flee ye, turn back, dwell, dwell, O inhabitants of Didan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. This is the time that the Lord is visiting Esau, Edom. See? That's exactly what the Lord have done. That's exactly what Esau, what the Lord have done to Esau. And the Lord is visiting Esau, making all those disasters when all those plagues upon them. And this, this is the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Okay? For the Lord uh, have a controversy with, 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 uh, with Esau because of the controversy of Jerusalem, because of the controversy of Jacob. The Lord is going to visit Edom for all he have done unto us. And to this visit that the Lord has visited Esau. It's not pretty at all. For destruction is coming for this man. And with that, I hope you brothers and sisters edify. I'm going to give all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Kakudash, 
double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone that teach us will well and rule will well through the Aquakodash salutation to the Akiam that's in how is and bow is when we swork in truth and sincerity to at the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the hopeful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shamashiach, Shalom, Abod Babo, Kwam Yashallah.